I was in the Marine Corps for eight years. I uh, went in right out of high school, so August of 96. And then I got out in December of 2003. After 9-11, we immediately got deployed to Afghanistan. And then uh, I got deployed to Iraq. And I was part of the initial invasion into Iraq, March 20th of 2003. You know, as you go into combat situations and things like that, you see a lot of things that you would, that most people shouldn't see. During that time frame is when my father passed away. That was a challenge for me. And, and uh, when it happened, there was a lot of frustration there. I always felt like there was a higher being, right? Like I always felt like there was a, there was a God. But I always had for a long time this opinion that, well, I don't need to go to church to be a good person. I remember coming into lunch one day and um, a bunch of my friends had these like little stacks of Elevate cards and they had like pictures of canes on them and there was like these cool graphics and they were handing them out and I thought like, well, this sounds fun and I didn't even, I didn't even realize that it was church. But, um, so they just, I got one and they're all some of my like really good friends. And so I was like, well, of course I'll go. Like, I, I love you guys. So like, why wouldn't I? I just kind of kept coming back. And like, once I had kind of dipped my toe in the water, like I just kept getting more and more like into it. And so I just kept coming. The rest of my family had never, like they had never come to Milestone. So it was just me. And my mom was saying like, well, we can't have you going to church and like giving your life to God and like us not even know what you're doing. So they started coming on Sundays. Watching her grow really influenced the rest of our family to start coming to Milestone. You know, I just wasn't, I was just going through the motions. I wasn't here. Uh, I was just uh, kind of a, just another person in the crowd and fell asleep uh, more so than not. And then it became a point where it was having an impact on the family and my two younger boys. Why do we got to go to church? Dad's not paying attention anyways. Like, what's the benefit, right? So my wife at that point was, hey, if you're not, if you're not gonna put any effort into it, why don't you stay home? Why, why come at all? That was pretty hard to handle, right? And my wife is basically telling me to stay home. Oddly enough, Jeff's message that week was about fathers and how one of the jobs of the father in the home, in the family, right, is to set the tone. And, you know, I was setting a tone, and it was the wrong tone. He got invited to the men's group by one of my friend's dads, and I feel like that really just, like, it just, like, lit a flame, and it just kept, kept going hearing how God has changed their lives and some of the hardships they went through and how God had helped them, you know, get through those. And then, you know, also hearing different passages in, in the Bible that, you know, I wasn't familiar with and, and seeing how that impacted them. And that really started getting me to say, wow, this is pretty awesome stuff and I want to know more. As we started coming more, my dad started getting more involved and he's like, like, when are we going to, like, he's like, what service are we going to tomorrow? And we're all like, oh, we're going to the 11. Like, we just, it was something we'd never seen in, in my dad. We went to 101, and we went to 201 after that. I joined the security team. My wife started doing the greeting team. And my daughter, Natalie, at that point also tried out for the worship team, and now sings in 56. I was waking up one morning and I don't even remember the message necessarily, but I just remember thinking to myself, I'm all in. That's when I gave my life to Jesus and said, this is it. I'm super thankful for, for Natalie and her coming to Elevate, her getting saved. That in turn brings us as a family a milestone. My family gets saved and my other two kids get saved. Now my youngest son is getting baptized the same day as myself. We're all new to this, you know, and we're all invested, but it's just something that like we can grow in always and just pass on in our household now based on, based on Jesus. The impact that's had on our family 
brought us all together and we're all in.